Good morning, everybody. After this morning's big push up due to the news release, we are now about 50 points away from the recent NASDAQ high, the highest it's been since about May of 2022. And we got up there about a month ago. So I'm going to try not to be biased, but based on the concepts that I use to trade on the smaller time frames, which translate to the higher time frames, like the daily candles, I would expect us to push up through 475. But I'm going to try not to let that bias me, because while it might do that, that doesn't mean it's going to happen in the next 30 minutes. Doesn't mean it's going to happen in the next hour. And I only trade until about 9.52. So, gotta trade what you see, not what you believe. The market is always right. And being right isn't good enough if you don't time when that's going to happen. And since I don't use a massive stop loss, I just got to be patient. And even if I miss out on that big move up, there's still going to be movement. About two weeks left to get 35% off for the rest of July with trade day evaluations, and then 20% after that using my code in the pinned comment. Thank you very much if you decide to use that. All right, let's do this. Do, 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 do. So far, it's very high volatility chop, which is tradable through mean reversion, but I'm just going to be patient for now. Looks like we've got 9.45 news as well as 10 a.m. news, so the market might just be waiting for that. To really make a decision. I wouldn't be surprised if this becomes the first day where I actually don't take a trade. I don't even remember the last time that happened. But it's not over yet, so I'm just gonna stay patient. Not force anything. Not impose my beliefs on the market. Because the market doesn't care about you. It's always right. FOMC member Kashkari. That's a cool name. Probably mispronounced it. They're speaking at 9.45. Guess it really didn't do anything. But better to be safe than sorry. Once we break the high, we're basically at 50, and then it's only 25 points away from the humongous pivot. So we'll see. Of sell orders somewhere here so if it doesn't push up through i wouldn't be surprised if it goes boop i know i'm past my trading time but i still got some focus left just because i waited so long tempted to go long there all right i obviously think it's going to break 75 at some point but it's late for me so we're gonna stop there so we got 0. 0.75 points making it a break even day missed out on some points here going for a bigger move up but that's all right, because how else are you supposed to get big winning trades? All right, I hope you survived this morning and did well, because this was tough. And I will see you tomorrow.